Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario World. This is my favorite Mario game, but I've never actually beaten it. So I hope to rectify that while playing on the camera. As you can see from the text, we are in Dinosaur Land, and Princess Toadstool has been kidnapped by Bowser again. She should probably stop doing that, unless she likes it. I mean, we've seen that she can hold her own in Smash Bros. Why can't she just fight Bowser herself? But we're Mario, we have to go save her. You now to keep some level of blindness in this game, since I have gotten to, I think, World 6, I'm going to collect all of the Yoshi coins, because I've never done that before as a kid. I never really cared. I just wanted to beat the game. And I never really did. I was really bad at games. I'm really bad at Mario games, especially. But of course, as you know, if you press the A button, you will do a little spin jump. B button makes you jump. Y next make you run. And you can also scroll the screen a bit. If you want Mario further on the left, you can hold the right button. And I don't know if you can do that with the left. Yeah, you can. Not really sure why you'd want to. I like having him in the middle of the screen. But it's something you can do. What I like about Super Mario World is they have reserve items at the top. And if you get hit, that item falls down. Although if you get hit, you do go straight into a little man. And I guess that's to kind of balance it out. So that your little man can be a fire flower twice. Or you'll go from fire flower to mushroom to little man. Although the only problem is sometimes you don't catch the item that's at the top once it falls. Also, you do want to do this level first. That way you get this yellow switch up here. Which will not only release the yellow blocks around the world, but it will also give you all these coins. Which will give you an extra life, most likely two. You should be able to get at least two from there. And if you're really fast, you might be able to get three, but I don't think so. I've never gotten three. But now all of those weird dot blocks are now actual physical blocks that you can either hit for items or walk across. Which is really helpful in a later level. In all levels with them. And we'll save, why not? So what I want to do with this series is, at least for the first couple worlds, try to get each world in one episode, just because I know what I'm doing. Oh, why'd I do that? That was a free... If you don't have the fire flower, or you don't hit the shell with that fire flower, you can grab the shell, and then kick it across and get an extra life. But I hit it with the fire flower. Which was an accident. That was weird. And this is the first level that Yoshi ever appeared in. The very first thing that Yoshi ever appeared in. Which is pretty awesome, because I like Yoshi. And if you eat all the apples, he poops out an item. It doesn't have to be every apple. It's just a certain number of apples. I can't remember how many. Also, if you keep Yoshi alive and you find another Yoshi egg, it gives you a 1-up. We'll just leave Yoshi for a little bit. If you do the spin jump, you get off of Yoshi. So what was I saying? I was saying that I want to do a world an episode, at least for the first couple of worlds. So that we can hopefully get to the stuff that I've never played before. Oops. Well, that was unfortunate. Come back, Yoshi. I never realized you could go down this pipe. Well, yeah, I did. 
What am I talking about? So we want to get off of Yoshi. You can grab these blue box. Blocks? Not box. And then kick them up. Yeah. And they do disappear after a while, so... Whoops. Oh well. I think if you get... Yeah, there it is. I knew one of them was a one-up. I don't think any of the other ones are. Maybe? No! Oh well, we'll never know if that last one was or not. Unless I can maybe... Use Yoshi. Yeah. Okay, so it's just that one middle one that has the one up. I guess that kind of makes up for the missed one that I did. Wow, I completely dodged the white line. Okay, level 3. It's going well so far. We've gotten all the Yoshi coins, we've hit the yellow switch, and we have Yoshi. Plus, it's always nice to have a reserve item. Oops. Well, that was a mistake. I jinxed myself. I kind of deserve what I got. You never say things are going well, because that will mean that things aren't going to go well for you. I don't know why I grabbed that mushroom down there, I guess to show you that it's there. But we have Yoshi again. And if he eats Koopas, the red shells make him spit out fire. Green shells are just regular shells, and I can't remember what blue shells do. For some reason, I want to say they make you fly, but I don't think that's right. Also, there's a pipe here. I don't want to mess with the coins, so I'm just going to grab that real quick. That makes two Yoshi coins. That makes three Yoshi coins. That's one of the easiest Yoshi coins ever. And we get our Fire Flower back. Fire Flowers are always so happy. In this game, anyway. It's interesting that they changed the design of the Fire Flower in this game. But not in... But they didn't change the mushroom. I guess the mushroom's too iconic or something. Still, I don't know what these green stars do. The green star blocks. I know that they give you coins. I don't know if they do anything else. And we got 16, which isn't bad. If you get to, I believe, 100 stars, you enter a minigame? I think it's a minigame. It might be 1-up. But I'm pretty sure it's a game that just lets you get items, which is nice. I want this. The fire flowers are so happy, they just dance. You can go in this pipe, by the way. I don't know if I'd recommend it without Yoshi, though. Because then you have these guys, and only Yoshi can really deal with them. Although I suppose if you have the fire flower, you can also deal with it. Oh, I want this. And you could probably jump over them too. I want to eat his head. Oh wow, he just gets a new one. That's odd. I'm pretty sure those don't count towards the item that Yoshi will poop out. But they do count for coins. So you do want to eat them. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. So we want to activate... Oh, I almost missed this Yoshi coin. We want to activate this P-block. 
So that we can grab that coin easily. Whoops! Luckily, Yoshi can jump on spikies. Unlike Mario. So that makes this a little bit easier. And that's all the Yoshi coins for this level. Only the castle left, I believe. For this world, anyway. Now, I think it's Iggy. I think we fight Iggy as the first boss. And there are no Yoshi coins in the castle. Because, well, you'll see why. We do have to leave Yoshi behind, though. Bye, Yoshi. See you in a bit. This shouldn't take long. I do like that you can climb on these. You can kind of bounce on their heads, I guess. And you can also hit them from across the side by pressing X or Y. I'm going to kill this one, too. So you want to grab this and go as far as you can. And then hurry up, because there is a secret over here. I don't know if I'll make it. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. If you make it, there's something up there, I think. I don't know if I've ever actually made it. I may just be assuming that there's something up there, but that's where I would put a secret if I was a developer. Oh yeah, there's giant logs that will crush you. Patience is a virtue here. If you just hug the left side, you should be fine. Might get pushed a little bit, but that's okay. And we have Iggy. Who will... As you jump on his head... Although, I'm doing a very poor job of showing this... He will fall towards the side that's being tilted. And I died. That's unfortunate. You do get to keep Yoshi though, that's nice. Did I say I was bad at Mario? Because I am. I died at the first boss. Doesn't get much worse than that. Okay, let's try this again. Although, if I was a bit more patient... I could have just gotten him in one jump, I think. Oh, there he goes. Bye, Iggy. Yeah, that was a really bad first fight. But, that's Iggy down. Only... How many children does Bowser have? Where did those children even come from? We defeated Iggy Koopa in castle number one. And now we get to go to Donut Land. And who doesn't like donuts? That egg is talking to us. So that's the first episode of Super Mario World. I hope to see you guys next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day. See ya!